Hello, and this is gonna be a tutorial on how to do two sounds that feed me and uh, kill the noise does in this song, Muscle Rollers. Really uh, good song. Um, yeah, it sounds like this. It's this pluck sound and then there's a guitar lead kind of sound that comes in around here. Yes, um, you should uh, check out the whole song. It's a pretty good song. Uh, so yeah, um, you can hear that this uh, guitar lead sound uh, it uh, moves a lot. So you need to automate uh, certain things in the in the synth to make it uh, as interesting at, uh, as his ha as interesting as his sound. Okay, so first check out the pluck. Sounds kind of similar. Um, there's two plucks really. Um, I well, I'm gonna show you the, the lead sound first. So yeah, um, this uh, pluck sound, the first one, uh, it's four oscillators. Here's one, and here's one, and here's three, and here's four. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, this first oscillator, you wanna take this uh, down to octaves. Uh, it's gonna be a saw wave, four voices, and it's gonna be detuned to uh, nine o'clock here. Uh, second uh, oscillator, uh, down one octave, uh, saw wave here too, but three voices and uh, no uh, detuning. Uh, next, uh, this part B here, uh, square wave, uh, yeah, take the volume down a bit on this, forgot to say, on this second oscillator, also on this one. Uh, it's gonna be a square wave. Square wave over, over here too, but a different square wave. It sounds different. Um, take it down a bit, uh, yeah, like this one, but uh, a bit more. Uh, you can also try to put it here or here, just uh, uh, create your own synth. This is just an idea. Uh, eight voices here. Uh, then you put on some drive on this, select the low pass filter. Uh, and some resonance and put the cutoff over here. A really good tip, if you if you don't know this, this is gonna help you a lot. Uh, when you've done uh, some settings uh, somewhere, like here, you can copy it from this part and paste it over here. So you can also copy this off uh, oscillator here and, and paste it over here, but I'm not gonna do that, but you can. Uh, and that's r really handy. Uh, also, this cutoff uh, it's gonna be opening throughout the song, uh, but put it uh, around here uh, at like uh, a bit under nine o'clock. And what makes the pluck? Uh, I made a video called "How to Make a Pluck Sound." If you're new to this uh, kind of sounds, uh, try checking that video out because it's gonna help you a lot, I think. Um, this uh, envelope here is controlling the the cutoff, uh, and this is what makes the pluck. If you put this down. Uh, you can't hear anything. I don't know why. Really, went down. Okay, it sounds like that. Okay, the reason you cannot hear anything was because the filter was so closed. Okay, but you put this up to make a plug. Uh, and this too. And select cut off AB. Uh, so it's gonna control the cut off on uh, part A and part B. So yeah. Um, chorus, um, this is the exact same as the um, factory setting, but you put uh, this down a bit, the dry wet. Uh, the EQ, I think it's the same too, just put this treble down. Uh, some reverb, this isn't really doing too much. Um, I got the reverb by sending this to a r return track here, a return, yeah, I think it's called a return track. Um, you simply put the um, a reverb on on uh, on one of these returns here, and you crank this up all the way to the uh, wet here, uh, and select w whatever kind of reverb re rah, reverb you want, and then you send it over uh, with this uh, knob here. If you listen to it without anything, and then with this up, it's a really good way to adding reverb and save. Uh, 
process uh, CPU power. Yeah. Okay. Um, next sound. This pluck here. Uh, you don't necessarily need to do this, but uh, I found that it added a nice top on it. Uh, I, I removed whatever was here. This is, as you can see, the first. Uh, this uh, annoying arpeggio that always comes up when you open <laughs> Silent. Um, I removed the arpeggio here, and uh, I think the only thing I did was that I removed uh, the thing that was here. And this by itself sounds uh, pretty silent. It sounds like this. But it sounds nice when it's uh, combined with this other plug. So yeah, this um, lead sound here. <laughs> As you can see, this knob here is moving. It's the vibrato. Uh, I'm gonna get to that later. Um, there's two oscillators here, um, both saw waves. This is gonna be on uh, band plus. Uh, oops, on band plus, and this is gonna be on spectrum. Uh, otherwise, they're uh, identical, pretty much. This is taken down a bit the intensity. So it's just a saw wave uh, two octaves down here. Um, it's run through a double notch filter. Uh, pretty cool filter. You can try uh, different filters to get different effects, of course. Always mess around with the synths that I make, because you can come up with uh, some really cool things just by changing a few stuff. Uh, but this is on uh, 12 o'clock. A bit of resonance. Classic tube here, uh, to add some nice distortion. Um, this is gonna be a bit over 9 o'clock, and this is gonna be at 10 o'clock, kinda. Uh, add a bit of high shelf. Um, then there is some phasing here, uh, just a bit, it doesn't really make a difference, but uh, um, you can hear in his song that he's uh, it, automating uh, a lot of stuff in the synth. I think he's using a phaser or something too, um, to make the sound really interesting and uh, yeah. Um, so uh, I'm gonna show you uh, later how I uh, automate this and this to make the sound sound kinda similar to his. So yeah, some uh, feedback. I put this on 11 o'clock. <laughs> 11 o'clock. And then this on Sign Shaper. Uh, 10 o'clock here, 1 o'clock there, 10 o'clock there, and 2 o'clock there. Um, I think this is pretty much it. You wanna have this synth on mono, uh, so that it can play uh, several keys at once. Uh, put this on always, or, uh, well, you can sh have whichever of these three you want. Uh, always is gonna... Yeah, I think this is the best for this synth. Um, so yeah. Um, some uh, glide also here on the oscillator tab. Uh, and if you don't have this vibrato thing on the uh, default patch when you open Massive, you can uh, uh, easily put it on just by selecting that and put it on and then drag it up like that. Um, yeah. Uh, you can see that I automated some things in uh, um, in this MIDI clip here. Um. Here, uh, this is the vibrato automating, vibrato automating. Um, also, try to change this uh, while while you're uh, playing the sound. <laughs> Really add some uh, nice color to the sound. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, that's it. Some reverb on here, but I don't think uh, I need to explain that too much. Um, hope this helped the guy that uh, wanted to see a tutorial on this. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and all of that. Um, yeah, uh, tell me if you want any sound to be created. I'm always happy to do that. See ya!